Okay, uh, we're now in flu gas page three, which gives you all your readings on here. Obviously, we've got some hashes on there at the moment um, because we're not doing a live test. You've got your oxygen, CO, CO2 ratio, excess air, temperature and efficiency. Um, and then you've got these three buttons on here. This one is for, for print. This one's actually set for printer. Um, obviously, if you've got a Bluetooth version, that would be a Bluetooth sign there. The disk is, is a save key. So if I was to save this reading, we simply press save and it says it's what log it is. It's a flu log and the date and time you say yes. It then freezes that on the screen. So you've got log two up there and because of the band on the top means it's frozen so that now I can pull across a printer and I can print out. Say you want to do two printouts, so I can do that and it, while, while the readings are, are, are frozen on the screen. If I press escape, it then puts me straight back to live readings um, and then I'm, I'm ready to do, a, to do a new test. This button, this key here, is changing the efficiency. You've got efficiency net, you've got efficiency gross, and you've got efficiency net HE for your high efficiency or condensing boilers. Okay, so that's your, that's your fluid gas, that's how you set up your fluid gas analysis. Um, simply put that in the flu, normally within a, a, about a minute you've got all your readings there. Once they all stabilise out, you save them and then, and then uh, you can print them. Okay, now if I want to go back, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to press escape. A bit like a computer, press escape, gets me back one. Now it's saying to me, replace inspection cap in the flu terminal. Um, that's just a safety function to make sure that, you, um, that you've done exactly that. You replace the inspection cap into your flu. Um, so we press escape because we, let's say we've done that. It gets us back to the test menu.